Hey guys, this is uh, Jordan with Logstash, and I want to talk to you a little bit about a little bit today about uh, the Grok Debugger and how to use it and why you might use it. And uh, by way of introduction, we've got um, a new user to Logstash talking uh, with a question about how to parse a particular log format. So they've given us a sample log. So we're going to go ahead and give that to the the debugger as well as a Grok pattern. And we're going to use the Grok Debugger to figure out exactly what is wrong with this pattern, you can see the Grok debugger comes back quickly and says it doesn't match. And the way to debug where uh, the problem lies is just cutting cutting the pattern in half until you find the, the problem. So I'm gonna delete the, the second half. You can see that does match successfully once I delete that part. I'm gonna undo that step and try cutting here. I see that it continues to not match. So I'm gonna cut this part out. And it matches. So I think the problem is probably with this uh, class pattern. You see class matches just C. And if we show you the whole pattern, it seems like this person wanted to match the timestamp, severity, uh, class name, uh, cell code, whatever that is, and then possibly uh, the rest of the message. So I think there's two problems with this pattern here. One is um, based, based on word word matches on word boundaries which in this case is periods so the, the word pattern is only going to match one character here which is C which is why we saw it at the bottom here only matching C so we need to fix this pattern and I think there's a Java class pattern that might work a little bit better let's see So now that class matches that full thing, but if we put put Selco back in, it doesn't work. It still doesn't work because Word doesn't match this. And just for the for the sake of of quickness, I'm going to just going to use not space here. And then now we can see that this input, this sample log, is being fully matched by here. And if we put it in a little bit simpler, you can see that we're capturing the timestamp, the severity, the class name, Selco, whatever that happens to mean, uh, and the log message separately. So hopefully this gives you a little bit, uh, a quick understanding of what the, the Grok debugger is for, how it can help you do things uh, much more quickly, quickly and interactively than, say, trying to use uh, edit things in your Logstash config and do that run Logstash, test it cycle, where this one's a little bit faster feedback.